What's going on everybody? It is me, Zoltar Speaks. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry, it's been a minute, but also welcome back. And hey, I got a webcam now, so things are cool. And uh, we're getting a little fancy up in here. Um, anyways, today I'm going to teach you guys how to install the DCS Blue Angels mods. Uh, people had issues with it in the last video, so I'd like to make another one, um, just kind of talking about it um, and hopefully fixing things. And we're gonna do it um, in one of two different ways. I'm gonna show you the, um, the manual way and the OVGME mod manager way. And personally, to get this to run on my spare computer, I actually had to do both ways. Um, OVGB, OVGME by itself didn't work and the manual way by itself didn't work but both of them combined made it work. So I recommend just doing both. It makes things so much easier. And without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, and also I have a comment from Coop in the last video that I want to show you guys. This should hopefully be a little better though, since um, uh, things aren't going to get corrupted this time. Hold on, I'm praying for that because uh, audio is bad. But anyway, let's get into it. So you are going to need the Blue Angels equipment mods, and as well, I recommend the skins right here that uh, Coop worked on and did a fantastic job. Razor, Eeyore, Panic, Raptor, and Thomas and Coop, of course, made these fantastic paints and the mods themselves, and they did a fantastic job. So thank you guys for making those. Um, alrighty, so, but yeah, uh, the equipment and the skins are what you need in my opinion. So once you've got those downloaded and drag and drop to your desktop, we will throw them in. So let's do the manual way first. What you're going to, oh, sorry, one more thing. Go ahead and download OVGME. Just type in, type it in in your web browser, uh, find the Hoggit wiki and download the exe file right here. All right. Now, once you've got all of that downloaded and good to go, we can start with the manual way. So open your folder. Um, I personally have my DCS in a different directory than most will, um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get there uh, no matter what you have, most likely, unless you installed it in your own way. And also, if you have this on Steam, it will work. All you need to do is right click on DCS I don't have it personally downloaded on Steam, but right click on it, click properties, go to local files, and you can click browse right here, and it will open up your main DCS directory. So if you have it on Steam, don't fear, you can do it. But I personally have the open beta, so I'll show you how to do it for that. What you need to do now is you need to navigate to your DCS directory. Um, for most people, it is going to be under local disk C, program files, Eagle Dynamics, and then DCS World or DCS World Open Beta. Mine is on a different hard drive. And my, there we go, I've got DCS World Open Beta right here. So this is my root directory. If your directory doesn't look like this, you're probably not in the right folder. So come over to your blueangelsmods.zip if you have WinRAR or 7-Zip, this will obviously be nicer for you, but you can uh, unzip it with File Explorer. Open your Blue Angels root mods, and you can see you've got scripts, core mods, and mods. All you have to do is drag and drop these guys straight over here, and it'll ask you if you want to replace, just hit yes, and it'll go ahead and do it. It might ask for administrative position or permission, just hit uh, continue for that and do that for all items. All right, once you're done with that, don't close the directory yet because you've got the paint still. Where I personally put the paints is um, in this folder. You can do it in your save games, but this is easier in my opinion. Just go to core mods, aircraft, FA-18C, liveries, hornet, and you can drag and drop Blue Angel, one through six, jet team, right there. As you can see, that's what comes in the file. Is those six, just drag and drop them straight over and then you should be good to go with the paints. All right, paints done. Now, 
we're going to put in the save game mods. Here's how you do this. Go to your local disk C or wherever your Windows is installed. Users, your username, save games, and then dcs.openbeta, or it might just be called DCS. I'm not sure what the Steam version or the normal standalone looks like. And then once you're done with that, and you're in your save games folder, open up your zip file again, go to Blue Angel save game mods, and drag and drop sounds and mods straight over into the negative space here. It'll say, it might say that it replaces some things. It probably won't be 79. Uh, but just go ahead and hit replace and let it do its thing. I'm currently updating the mods or re-putting them in because there was just an update recently and you have to redo after every update. So keep that in mind. Once you're done with that, you are done and you can close this folder. Now, the OVGME install. The way that I do this is let's right click and put a new folder on our desktop, okay? And we'll call it Blues Mods, just like that. Now we will open our zip folder and the Blues Mods folder, and we'll drop Root Mods and Save Game Mods straight over into this folder right here. Once you're done with that, you can open OVGME. Uh, I am going to delete these configurations that I currently have because um, you guys won't have this yet. So I'm going to just create a new one here. Doesn't seem to, there we go, remove current and remove current. Configuration is empty. Okay. Alrighty. So when you launch OVGME, it will open with this right here configuration, root, and mods folder. All you have to do is click cancel and let it open the mod manager itself. Now, we're gonna come up here and click new, and we're gonna call this root mods for configuration title. And the root folder here is going to be your main directory. So mine is this hard drive, DCS, open beta, right there, and click okay and that will save the root folder. And then the configuration mods folder, we're gonna click browse, navigate to our desktop, the blues mods folder, and then blue angels root mods. Don't double click it, just single click it and click okay. And now that you've got that, you can click create. And if you did it correctly, these three should populate in here. Now, we're gonna click new one more time. We're gonna call this one save game mods and the root folder will be our save game. So browse wherever you've got Windows, local disk C for me, users, Wolfman, <laughs> old, old Xbox username right there, save games, and then open beta. Once you've got your open beta, click OK. There it is. And the configuration of the mods folder, browse, desktop, blues mods, save game mods, OK and create and if you did everything right two of these guys should populate now all you have to do here is double click this double click this and then go up here and go to root mods and double click all of these three now they are enabled now all you have to do is hit quit and you should be good to go let me pull up coop's comment real quick coop said this in the last video uh glad you enjoyed the mods and paints quick note to add for all the people that are having trouble some multiplayer servers restrict the use of weapons, and because the mods are attached as weapons, you will be unable to use the Blues mods in that server, even if installed correctly. And two, there could be comparability issues or compatibility issues with other mods installed. If you installed following my video and it still doesn't work, this is probably your issue. So the way that I recommend testing this is just going into a single player world, and I'll show you how to do that really quickly. Let's go ahead and launch DCS. I'm going to uh, um, set the priority a little higher, so hopefully things will run a little bit quicker. Sometimes that helps me and on my current configuration, but it won't help everybody. All right. As soon as it loads up, we will get going.
the first thing to note um, about this is when you first load into DCS on the main screen, there will be a little card at the bottom where all of your aircraft and maps usually are, and it will say Blue Angels Equipment. If you see that, then you're at a good starting place. So let's let the game load here, and I'll show you how to put it on a plane in a mission. There we go. It should be down here at the bottom. You should have this blues equipment um, rectangle here, and I just set it as a wallpaper because it looks nice, doesn't it? Alrighty, um, and you should have some Def Leppard playing in the background as well. But um, if it's really loud, just come into your audio or yeah, audio, and turn the music down. All right, so we're gonna go to our mission editor and I'm gonna create a new mission for this purpose. Doesn't really matter what it is. We'll just go Caucasus just so I can show you how to put on a plane. All right, and once you're in the mission editor, scroll into the airport of your choice. Spawn in your airplane. So come here, click on add or modify. We'll find F-18, we'll throw a plane down, set that as a uh, takeoff from ramp so everything will be cold and dark. If you click this little tank down here, you can see everything. I'm going to delete all the stuff here. Your skin, and now everything is going to be in this little um, selection right here. I'm going to go ahead and set this to client before I forget. Um, click on this guy, and once you're in this, you can scroll down and select the paint scheme and blue angels one through six should be here so i usually fly the five jet so there's my paint scheme and on mission payload you want to right click the smoke add a smoke generator for to the pod and on the fifth pylon right here you want pods and blue angels equipment and as soon as you're done with that you're good to go you can save your mission file uh, i actually don't want to save it We will select our F-18. We're going to sound Okay. <laughs> and there you go. Now you should have the Blues equipment installed. But don't turn off the video yet. You've still got to add in the mod bindings. So the best way to do that for me at least just go to adjust controls and search up here come down to mods in here and these are the ones that you want to select i don't have my hotas plugged in right now so you can't see that but these are all of the mods that are in the um, blues equipment so you'll want smoke arm and toggle um, spring and uh, timers and stuff as well all very good stuff Timer obviously being the hand heart stopwatch right here on front. It's a little bright right now because of the sun um, smoke. You can see the pumps and the G lights and everything. And of course the mods do work because otherwise you can't have a ladder. So cool stuff. But anyway, that is all for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it helped some of you that were having issues. Um, go follow the DCS Blue Angels group. Um, they are a bunch of really cool guys. I've had the pleasure of flying with them and talking to them um, And they're pretty sweet or at least flying with Flex a little bit. But anyways um, And check out us my twitch will be down below. We have our own demo team the black snakes and uh, So check us out and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out